So what's a refrigerator white 1965 Pontiac with four doors doing on Muscle Car of the Week? Ho ho ho! There's got to be a reason that this is a Muscle Car of the Week, right? Well, it turns out that there are 429 reasons. Which is what you get when you add up the four doors, a four-speed transmission, and a Pontiac 421 HO V8 topped with three two-barrel carbs. Wait, that makes 435 reasons. Someone special ordered this milky white four-door sedan with the high output Pontiac racing V8 engine and four-speed manual transmission for a reason. This car is like a giant exercise and compromise. You got plenty of room for the family and that hot 421 three-deuce four-speed combo for Leadfoot Dad. Or who knows, maybe that was for Speed Freak Mom. This car was sold new in Tucson, Arizona Maybe she had to get the kids home in a big hurry before the ice cream melted. It's cool to imagine the day this 17.8 foot long 65 Catalina oozed off the assembly line, only to shock the first driver when they shook up the 10 and 3 quarter compression 421 high output Trophy V8 that Pontiac called the Thunderer. The 421HO was rated at 376 horsepower and 466 pound-feet of body-twisting torque, slurping buckets of gas through three two-barrel carbs. The cam was a special high-output hydraulic design, and the pistons pushed the exhaust out the low-restriction manifolds down dual exhaust and out through straight-through mufflers. A heavy-duty clutch tied the mill to the close ratio four-speed synchronized Muncie gearbox, and the safety track axle assembly spun both of the measly eight and a half inch wide tires on six inch steel wheels. Numerous gear ratios were available, but this one spins special order 411s. In a time when most family sedans were inline six powered slugs, this Catalina got the family where they needed to go in a hurry. Pontiac had a two-door that they called the 2 plus 2 because it sat two people in the front and two people in the back. Well, this thing, I don't know, 3 plus 3, 4 plus 4, I don't know, just call it 12. This Catalina is far from sporty looking, which is all part of the appeal. This was a luxury ride after all, and the option list reflects the cushy nature of this fine automobile. The decor group features deluxe wheel covers and side moldings, and it rolls on plush 14-inch rayon tires. The driver is pampered with power steering, with maneuvers assisted by wonder lamps at night. A push-button radio plays the tunes, and the view is filtered with soft ray tinted glass. Code 621 indicates this giant cat is equipped with the ride and handling package, but we don't recommend competing for a golden cone at your local parking lot autocross. But the car does have a non-glare rear view mirror to show you who you've just smoked at the stoplight drag races. One might look at this car as a one of a kind, a sedate white four door seemingly mismatched with the top of the heap high performance driveline. But believe it or not, all the goodies on this car are regular production optional equipment on any of the full-size Pontiacs for 1965. You could even get a 421HO four-speed safari station wagon if you wanted. We're happy this one landed in the Brothers collection among some of the coolest more door sleepers ever built. So is it too big to be a muscle car? Let us know in our online comments and the debate will live on. Thanks for watching this episode of Muscle Car of the Week from the Brothers Collection. We'll see you next time with another cool muscle car or giant muscle car on Muscle Car of the Week.